my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got a manicure to share with you. This is Super Chick Lacquer's Swoon and I'm going to stamp it with some roses. I've started off with my repair nail base coat and this is Swoon and I am going to be using the Marvel Top Coat from Super Chick today. This is a Messy Mansion Plate number 20 MM20 Bundle Monster S226 and these are Bundle Monster stamping polishes. Rose Garden and oh, I can't remember the name of that one. I'll list it below. I'll be using my monocle stamper and my Faber Nail Scraper. So I'm going to stamp this solid rose design kind of as my background. Try to pay attention to what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm going to line that up and plop it on the nail. I'm going to clean that plate off and head on to the next part of stamping. I'm going to be using this little Bundle Monster plate and I'm going to be trying to isolate some of these leaves. So I'm going to pick them up and then I've got to pull off the excess so I don't get that on my nail. And I'm sorry I'm out of frame. There we go. Just going around it trying to make sure I've just got the leaf. And it's almost going to be kind of like a French tip design, like a rose and the leaves are going to be the French tip part. I don't know how I came up with this but I saw it in my head and I wanted to do it and I'm glad it worked out. <laughs> turn that leaf around and go the other direction. We'll clean that off and do it again that same design on my pinky. I've got a lot of excess polish from that stamp. I didn't do a very good scrape. Oh, just start over. Got a little carried away with my tape cleaning. There we go. Much better. <laughs> I'm being much more careful this time, <laughs> trying to get just the stuff I don't want and not the stuff I do want. And this Super Chick Lacquer, the swoon, the base color is just so pretty. Of course, I do love a hollow and I love pink, so I knew this one was going to be a winner. And I kept looking at it and thinking, roses. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do these little roses. Okay, and this is what it looks like. And I'm thinking that the leaves just aren't dark enough, really. I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup. And then I'm going to go in with another polish. Try to darken that up some. And this is um, working out really well with the tape for the cleanup. A lot of a lot of polishes really do clean up easy this way. Every once in a while you find one that's stubborn. So I'm going to use this old Bundle Monster Stampin' Polish and it's kind of a darker green. And I'm just going to go over the top of all the other leaves over that lighter green and just kind of give it a little bit of texture or dimension. But mostly just wanted to see how, how I could make it you know, pop a little better and look more like leaves. So there we go. And after I made this decision to do this, I really decided I really love this manicure. We are almost done. We've got just a couple of more stamps to do. Turn that around and put it on the other side. A little bit more clean up with some tape. 
so much better for the skin around my fingernails and my cuticles and everything when I can do that. Oh, there's another spot. There we go. So far I'm liking it. And I am going to use the Super Chic Lacquer, the Marble Top Coat. I normally save this for when I use Super Chic polishes. So I was really happy to see that it didn't smear my design. I was a little worried. Very nice top coat though. I've got some serious flooding going on. So I'm going to get that with my orange wood stick. That is a serious pet peeve of mine. <laughs> I'm going to cap those ends. Because this is a manicure I'm going to want to last. Because I love it. I want to wear it for a couple of days at least. It's more orange wood stick action here. I like that top coat though. It does make everything just kind of look so shiny and pretty. <clears throat> Excuse me. So there it is. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about this one. There it is. So thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Until next time, be good to yourself. Bye.